Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here, a YouTube guitarist from South Africa, and this is going to be my wrap-up video for 2021. It's been a great year, and I'd really like to thank all my subscribers and everyone that's watched the videos. So for this video, I'm going to do my five best tips for low-tune guitars. Because if you know this channel and what I like to cover, I like to go over low-tune guitars and extended scales. And that brings me to my first tip, and that's choose the right scale length for the tuning that you want to go down to. For example, you're not going to take a standard 25.5 inch scale guitar and tune it all the way down to F. You're just going to run into a whole bunch of problems. Now I'm not going to get too deep into the technicalities of scale length, but here are some recommendations. So if you've got a 25.5 inch scale guitar, I'd say you can get down to about a low A. If you go any lower, you're going to run into some problems. And then with a 27 inch scale, you can get down to a low G, 28 inch to about a low F, and then 30 inches, you can get to E1 and lower. For example, I've taken my Jazzmaster baritone down to about C1 until I've got some intonation issues. Now that brings me to my next point, which is point two, and that is choose the right string gauges for the tuning that you want to go down to. So I'd recommend using a string tension calculator. There's many of them online, and this is just going to really help you choose the right string gauge for the tuning that you want to get down to. Now, these calculators can be a bit confusing if you haven't used them before, but basically the simplest way of explaining it is first choose the string set that you use for a standard scale guitar in E standard. So over here, I've set the scale length to 25.5 with a set of tens. And then on the right here, you can see the tension per string. Now I'm gonna change the scale length to 28 inches. Then I'm going to have my tuning go down to G1 standard. And you can see now the tension is way too low on the strings. So now I'm gonna match up the tension so I've got a similar tension that I had in E standard on a 25.5 inch scale guitar. So I'm gonna jump that down to an 80. And as you can see, that's round about a similar tension. And I'm just gonna go and tweak the rest so I've got a similar tension and balance throughout the other strings. So there you go with a much better tension per string and a nice balance set. Because if you use strings that are too thin, when you hit them, they're probably gonna go sharp and you're gonna have some tuning issues. <laughs> Come on. But if you use strings that are too thick, they might sound a bit darker than what you want. Now point three is dial back on the gain the lower you tune. I've done a video on this, but basically when you start tuning down lower and you use the same gain setting, you're gonna lose a lot of the clarity of the notes and the note definition. Way too much gain. Now when you turn that down, much clearer. So if you're tuning lower, maybe down to air for E1, just dial back on that gain. You'll really hear when you dial that back, you're going to get better note clarity on your riffs and your songwriting. Tip four is just do some EQ adjustments. I've done a video over here, but basically you want to cut out the lows and you want to cut out the resonant peaks and the mids, and you're just going to get a better EQ tone for your guitar tone for low tunings. Definitely watch my EQ video, but basically you want to cut out the sort of resonant peaks in your audio. So I'm gonna cut those out. Ah, low cut any lows that I don't need. And then I add another EQ where it just sort of carves out a tonal characteristic for the guitar. So I've done a cut in the low mid frequency at one kilohertz. There's a boost at 130 hertz. Then I've also done a slight boost at 4.5 kilohertz and another boost at 8 kilohertz. And it sounds like this now. Then tip five is quite simple. If you're doing high gain and low tunings, just chuck an overdrive in the front just to tighten up that low end and the clarity of your low tuned riffs. Sounds a bit loose, so let's go on the front and add in an overdrive, acting like a boost. So with the gain down 
and the level and tone midway. Much tighter. So that's my five best tips for low tune guitars. I found that this has really helped me over the years and really helped me focus and tighten up my low tune guitars in my songs and productions. And if you want to support me and this channel, I have set up a Patreon account where there's extra benefits for patrons there, where you get behind the scenes, you get early access to videos and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check out the description, I'll leave a link there and you can go check that out and see the different tiers and what's involved in that. Also, I've also set up a website, you can sign up to my mailing list and I'll keep you up to date with new features, new videos and a whole bunch of things that are going on. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought and things that help you with your low tune guitars. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Also, if you want to hear some of my music, I've got some music on Bandcamp. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons who are Stefan Selmak and Apoplexia. Thank you so much guys for the support. And I'll check everyone in the next video.